Yo, what's up? Today we're here with another reaction and we're gonna react to Overcompensate by 21 Pilots. This one is a new single they just released and they also have a LP that is coming in May, 17th of May if I'm not mistaken. And this LP is gonna be titled Clancy. Now, I don't know much about 21 Pilots, but I don't know, the name Clancy just really, it intrigued me and I wanted to know who that Clancy is and maybe what Clancy means. So I went, uh, did some research and everything, and to be honest with you, I didn't find anything convincing as an answer, a definite answer of what Clancy and who Clancy is. I found some theories saying that uh, Clancy is maybe an alter ego to one of the two guys in 21 Pilots, uh, that maybe Clancy is a real person as well, or maybe that Clancy is just uh, a name that they use instead of their actual name. So... I have no idea still who that Clancy is. I found some stuff saying that maybe it's the opposite of Blurry Face. And Blurry Face is an album that they released before and is supposedly also an alter ego. So anyway, for real, if you're a 21 Pilots fan, go down in the comment section below because I'm so intrigued. I want to know more about that Clancy, Blurry Face and everything that is surrounding them. Uh, and because of all of that, I feel like 21 Pilots, not that they hide... Uh, stuff in their music and lyrics but there, there's some like easter eggs and everything is kind of connected together so for us uh, listeners that only go there or to listen to them once or don't know their whole catalog I feel like all of that just passes and we don't see anything but I feel like it's it's super nice for the fans because they just see everything connected so yeah that's why if you have some info about that drop them in the comment section all right, so if we talk about the lyrics, I think that there's a lot of things to say, uh, but I'll try to keep it short for you guys. So firstly, I feel like it's going to be a post-apocalyptic vibe because in the intro, we're talking about a war and we're talking about a world war. And why I'm saying that is because there's a lot of people from different uh, places in the world, I believe because of different, they're using different languages. Uh, to talk about that war so it's something big like for sure it's a world war and I feel like this music video and this song is happening after uh, this big war now I also feel that I don't know man it seems that the song is about uh, someone struggling struggling with their feelings uh, with their own thoughts especially and that they're finding themselves just going back to certain things it could be habits or stuff like that but they just come back to certain things if we go back into the intro we're still in the intro <laughs> uh, they're saying welcome back to trench and i was like what is trench kind of like clancy what is it so i decided to check what trench is and trench is their fifth album and apparently it's about mental in, uh, illness and how it's an ongoing battle that one person needs to go through when they suffer from a mental illness so it's interesting to see Welcome Back to Trench at the start of the video. It really, it sets the tone for what is going to come after that. Another thing, for example, uh, that I saw that I didn't understand is, so I sing Salo Folina and I was like, what is that? And again, went to check and uh, apparently this Salo Folina is what uh, we scream in Trench to express uh, our pain or to cry our pain out so again in this world trench that they created Salofolina is kind of what you scream to let everything out so this is why I definitely have a feeling that it's about uh, someone definitely struggling with something because we're talking about pain and we're talking about getting that pain out nice See, really, man, again, post-apocalyptic vibe right here. Okay. The switch. Nice. Yeah, really. I'm sticking with post-apocalyptic for now. You know, the build-up. Let's go. Yo, give me some big drums and a breakdown. Big drums and a breakdown. Let's go. Woo! Oh, yeah. 
Oh, this is like rave music. I didn't expect the uh, major vibe that it has. Oh, yeah. Yo. I was not expecting that for sure. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be more dark, but for real, it, it's like it has that groove and really lifting vibe. Woo! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, ooh, transition right there. So what I was saying is that it really, I was not expecting that, that major vibe. Uh, if, if we talk about like theory or whatever that this music has, I was, I, I was going with the feeling that, you know, the post apocalyptic, so maybe something more dark. And then they, they threw me away where, with that major key, uh, or like major chords. It, it's really nice. It, it's also like an uplifting, uh, music. It's really cool. The effects on his voice as well. It just, Ooh, I love that. And yo, know, that transition seemed, ooh, it seemed fire. All right, so for now, I really like it. I was not expecting that and curveball, but I love it. So let's go back and hit it again. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it gives me like a summer vibe rave. Uh, Refers to sun kind of vibe. For real, I want DJs to mix that. Woo! Love this. So, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I wanted his voice with the tone he has usually. I was waiting for that. Yo, if this is not a hit, I don't know. I love that line. Maybe don't hesitate to overcompensate. It just sounds... Oh, yeah. That is really a nice line. The way it flows. Yo, I'm a sucker for groove. And this has groove. Groove with the lyrics and then the rap on top. The little stuff. Oh, little stuffs like that. So good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Two seconds. Oh, my God. There's so many things. So, in terms of like the music video, for real, it's, it's really simple. I love the the choice um, of colors. So, the black and red still it gives me kind of like a... a a darker vibe if we go in terms of talking about uh, struggles mental illness and stuff like that i think it's it's really good um i kind of like the vibe that it's the two guys alone to be honest with you and i don't know but you feel the chemistry between those two and i love it I, what i was going to say right before the the verse is that i was waiting for him to drop like some lines with his voice and the tone that he has because Yo, you can't deny it, but the tone is kind of like what is making 21 Pilots. The tone and the drumming. And this is something that I love too as well, is that we have actual drums on a pop, if you want to consider it, pop music record, uh, music song. I, I love that. I'm, I'm a sucker for some real uh, classic instruments, you know. Give me some violin, some strings, whatever, guitar, bass. But when it's not really uh, something played by a computer... But by someone, I, I, I like it a little bit more. So, yeah, I really love the vibe of the song. It's so good. So let's go back and jump back into it. I like it too because it feels like a show they're giving to us and like if they're really in front of us because they're interacting with the camera and looking at the camera. You're not looking at a story. You're looking at someone 
saying a story and saying something to you. I love that. That line. Also, the little stuff, those are little details that are really good. That so. And when it see little breaks like this is what it takes the energy and then put it straight back in your face. Little elements like that makes a whole a big difference. Oh, a new part again. Yo, I'd be down for a breakdown with some screams. Oh. Okay. So, bridge is a, a little bit of a letdown in my opinion. Or I don't even know if that was the bridge now. Break back. Yes. Oh yeah. That is so good. See? Oh. Oh. Yo, I got some chills. I got some chills. Damn. Yo, the switch as at the end. What is that? The only thing that came to mind is um, how we spoke about trench, and we're going kind of like back to trench. So maybe because you hear some fires, so maybe the burning of trench is what is going to allow them to after that leave and go into something else. So they're kind of like burning that. Anyway, the only thing that came to mind right now, also the switch at the end where you actually see someone else with long hair um yeah it's it's so intriguing i don't like i don't understand this part what i wanted to say though is that you don't see them smile <laughs> it's just it's just at the end that you see them smile so that's why i feel like whatever happened at the end of the music video i'm trying to put it but whatever happened at the end of that music video there that little smile that he just made you don't i don't think you see that often from those guys so to see him smile at the end like that it makes me wonder what are they making right now so that it's making him smile so anyway theories down in the comment section let me know because i'm so intrigued for real there's not much to add they left us on a cliffhanger and i love that because I think this what this is what a single needs to do. It needs to leave you on a cliffhanger and uh, leaves you wondering what's next and wanting to have more, but you can't right now. So anyway, I just love that so much and I'm so intrigued. I think I'm going to go and listen to their catalog and what they have because I want to know more about that whole uh, world that they created when we talk about trench when we talk about those alter egos and all that kind of stuff for real i'm really intrigued for what they're going to release and i want to know more about them so i'm definitely going to look up some stuff about 21 pilots now aside from that i want to thank y'all for watching again thank you so much if you made it this far into the video uh don't forget you know like subscribe to the channel also you can go follow me on instagram and yeah aside from that I wish you a beautiful day and see you next time.